right, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at Go Engineer at our webinar. My name is Adam Hughes. We're going to go get started with the um, 10 times faster denoiser tool with SolidWorks Visualize. So uh, this is a new um, function that actually came from NVIDIA, um, in particular the iRay tool that we use to render all of our CAD files in Visualize. So um, if you will, it's kind of like a brain enhancement that, uh, that we've also incorporated into the software, um, our kernel enhancement, um, straight from NVIDIA to SOLIDWORKS Visualize. So just a quick reminder too, SOLIDWORKS Visualize, uh, you have, there's two versions of it, there's standard and there's uh, professional. Standard is included in every version of SOLIDWORKS that is pro or premium or higher, so pro or higher. So if you have SOLIDWORKS Pro or have SOLIDWORKS Premium, you can start using this tool right away. Okay, cool. So let me give you a little background on um, Denoiser before we jump into, um, into the Visualize side of things. Um, essentially, NVIDIA has released um, an upgrade right, to their light tracing technology. And you can go ahead and check this out, and you can go to, and I'll copy and paste this link in there if you want to read some more on it. But, um, yeah, essentially they've, they've upgraded how we can calculate the, the, um, the light bounce in objects. And a really cool, a really great place to look in this video, if you guys end up watching it, is the reflection of the light through the glasses here. And you can see how the area behind the glasses isn't resolved, but then the area with the denoiser tool on, it's super crisp. Um, and again, I'll paste these so you guys can check them out on your own. Another really great one here is the light that's illuminating in this tunnel um, essentially is, is, is bouncing from the outside of the tunnel to the inside and then kind of working its way around and then illuminating everything. And you can see everything on the left-hand side here is very dark, right? And that's because it it's, hasn't calculated all the light that's bounced around. And then over here on the right-hand side, it's resolved. And then the other kind of bonus here, too, is that, um, you know, it's significantly faster. And that's really where, where you know, that's the catch for the Visualize uh, tool. You know, it's just like, hey, 10 times faster renders. You're like, what? How is that possible? Because it's already really fast. So, um, you know, using the NVIDIA technology coupled with SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS crew and, and um, the Visualize crew, we can now render things, um, you know, up to 10 times faster. And, uh, and that's all done by utilizing the denoiser tool. So the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you're on at least service pack three or higher. So if you are in, if you are running SOLIDWORKS Visualize now, you're gonna wanna go to help and then about, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're looking at that 2018 SP3. Okay, so with that off, the bat then if you if you're in service pack three what you're going to also have to do is turn some things on so if you go to tools and then options you're going to go to your 3d viewport and below that you're going to see denoiser so i have chosen to initiate the denoiser tool so that's always running when i'm when you know i'm rotating or panning or moving shifting my model inside of Visualize. So it'll utilize that technology to render things faster live. And then also the show button and main uh, toolbar so you can see that it's stuck on there. So with those two checked on, then you'll actually get this little button. And you can turn it off or turn it on. And that when it's depressed in like it is right there, that tells you that the denoise tool is active. When it's toggled off and it's not depressed, that tells you that it is not active. Um, while, we're, while we're on the topic of saving time, too, I want to make one other observation. So um, the, the denoiser tool itself can save you, you know, 90% of your render times or up to 90% of your render times. But there's also one other thing that can also make a difference, too, in combination. So the two kind of um, uh, take a role together to, to make sure your renders run faster. And that is what render um, mode you're in. So you could be in CPU mode, which is the slowest. It's just there so that we can support people without GPUs. Um, we have hybrid mode, which seems to be the default when you go to automatic. 
um, there are some circumstances why it doesn't go to, to um, hybrid mode. But hybrid uses both your GPU and your CPU to do the render, and then there's just GPU mode. Now, just one word of caution here, um, hybrid mode is convenient, and it, and it certainly does utilize all your resources on your machine to create a render. But um, GPU mode um, should be used if you're running like a, a P4000 or higher, or a 4200 or something like that or higher. What happens is the hybrid, the hybrid mode um, actually will slow you down, right? If, you, um, if you're running a really good card and you're trying to tap your CPU, it's like your CPU's holding you back. It's like an anchor. So drop the CPU side of things, drop the motherboard RAM, just use your VRAM and your GPU power for processing. So a combination of knowing that, so I'm gonna tur turn mine on the GPU mode, and a combination of known, uh, of uh, using the denoiser tool should save you a bunch of time. Um, yeah, so I'm running a, a P5000 on my laptop, and that's why I'm gonna run GPU mode. Okay, so what does this mean and what does this look like, you know, live, right? Um, so with the denoiser tool on, this is a relatively simple model. Um, there's not a whole lot of facets or triangles here going on. I'm gonna just do a quick rotate um, and then we're gonna watch it resolve. I want you to watch this area right here. So this area right where kind of the, the one plate meets another and there's some right light refra refraction going on. Essentially calculate all the light, the light bounce, light transfer is in these little small kind of uh, smaller regions. So when I rotate this, you should be able to see how pixelated it gets and how long it takes for that, that fine detail to come into play. Whereas everywhere else, when there isn't that fine detail, it's really, um, you know, it's really resolved. And here it's still even resolving now after it's been, you know, three or 400 passes. And so the tool, the denoiser tool, what it allows us to do is like interpolate some of that information there and then make um, uh, uh, guesses about what it should look like and then converge to the actual, right? So it converges faster, that light bounce converges faster. And you should be able to see that that uh, that render up significantly faster with the denoiser tool. Um, one thing that's also kind of slowing me down a little bit here is actually the go to meeting, which is interesting. Um, really highlight um, some of the denoiser functions. So what I really like about this one is that the depth of field was really interesting and, um, you know, just, just a nice sweep in, sweep out of the camera, movements, motions, really good finishes and textures. So that was one of them. The second one. really showcases how denoiser can save you time. So the image on the left is with denoiser off, the image on the right is with denoiser on. And really concentrating on those fine feature details. So look at like the nooks and crannies of the file. Look how much faster those little, um, like those smaller areas where the light really has to like penetrate down into. Look how much faster it resolves. Oh, it's downloading. Downloading SolidWorks during a webinar, awesome. So um, there's a lot of great content online that actually shows you a lot of this really cool stuff too. Um, but it doesn't uh, pay off like practicing it. So let's see if we can get this to run. So here I'm going to rotate this and then with the denoiser tool on, you can see that it resolves those small areas significantly faster. So here's the one too, right? This is what it comes down to in all, in all animations and all pictures and everything that there is for rendering. You know, when you do that rotate and you have to re-render re that, that profile, it resolves almost immediately right, with everything else, as opposed to before with the noiser off. I'm gonna toggle this off here. Take a look at this one more time. And you can see that it gets super pixelated when I do the rotate. 
So anywhere where that that where where you were lagging or the little small nooks and crannies where it took a long time for the render to look fantastic, right? Um, or you had to just increase your passes to a very high number because there was just small little sections of your render that didn't look great. Um, you know, now with the denoiser tool, we're essentially eliminating all of that and it's and it's doing all that extra work for us. So denoiser tool on, you do the rotate, watch that area resolve versus with it um, not on, it stays pixelated. And keep in mind, an animation is just a series of photographs, so or a series of images, high quality images. So this would apply to every single frame when you render out an animation. Okay, so the one last tip and trick, when you actually go to render something with Denoiser, here's what you gotta know, right? So we've turned all the buttons, we've turned on all the um, options, right? And you go to render something. So you're gonna go, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I select my folder to store it. What am I gonna render? What's this J, you know, JPEG or PNG or whatever, or PNG. <laughs> um, here, I, I was doing time limits of like half a second, 30 seconds, or uh, half a minute, 30 seconds. Um, and I was just toggling on the Denoiser um, on and off. So um, with the denoiser on, I ran it, ran it for 30 seconds. With the denoiser off, I ran it for three minutes, and I recorded those two different um, images so that you guys can see the difference. But one thing that's going to catch you off is even if you have denoiser on in the user interface, so if it's if it's toggled on here in the user interface, you go to the render tool, you're going to have to make sure that you that it's checked on here too, right? Because the first time I did it, it wasn't. And I was like, hmm, I didn't really see anything different. And then I checked out what I actually did and made the changes. So, um, yep, you'll check that on. You'll run it in whatever mode you want to run it on, and then start the render or send the queue. So the uh, the three looks like this. So this is the one. This is a three minute render um, without denoiser, and then this is a thirty second render with denoiser. So concentrate on the realism of those of those bars, maybe, um, and and. Uh, the realism of the weldment tubes, I suppose, and the reflection, the light, 30 seconds. It didn't didn't really have a lot of time to calculate the light, um, but with the denoiser tool, it certainly did. So even on a really simple part with with uh, you know half half a minute, 30 seconds of render time, you know you're you're seeing a pretty significant difference between the um, denoiser on and denoiser off. Okay, well that was the short and sweet. I'll just do a quick recap. So um, tools, options, right? Go to your 3D viewport. Um, make sure you're running in the correct mode here. Um, turn on your denoiser options. Initialize denoiser, show button in toolbar. You'll have this button here. When you go to render, make sure that when you publish the render, that you check on, use the denoiser tool to save your, your render time. And everywhere in the past, if you've been running like 5,000 passes counts, which is a really common number, 5,000 is like a really good starting point for a typical JPEG or, or a PNG file. Um, try 500 this next time, right? So take, just take a zero off of whatever you've been doing and, and, and render it again and see how you like it. Cool, that's it, short and sweet, got the point across. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know your guys' time is really valuable, so feel free to fire up uh, Visualize here and try out the needed noiser tool. And if you guys need help installing Service Pack 3, don't hesitate to call our technical support. Um, just go to our website or call 888-559-6167. They can totally give you um, either the download files or give you that necessary help to make sure you get Service Pack 3 or later installed. As always, we really appreciate you guys joining us for these webinars. Without you guys, uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to do these things. No one would be listening. So, uh, you know, always sign up for webinars. Keep in mind too, even if you don't make it, you'll get the recording sent to you. So, so if you're if you're trying to plan a day and you know you can't make a webinar, uh, feel free to sign up, and we will send you the recording of it so that you can again learn and maybe spread some of this information to your colleagues, and uh, you know, be better engineers for it. Thanks a bunch. Have a good day.